the new Intel Xeon as well as uh, the even newer Intel Xeon Phi are going to provide uh, more performance than older products. Um, especially Intel Xeon Phi allows for more parallel performance than uh, what is available in uh, the multi-core products. So it provides many cores and so more parallelism, more scalability, which means that depending on, on your needs, you can either get the same functionality running faster, you get response or results faster than before, or you can uh, have more scalability to get the same uh, functionality running faster. By that you create headroom and within the same compute power or with the same timing envelope, you can add more capabilities and more features to your application. The Intel Xeon processor is a good processor for uh, multi-core parallel programming as well as utilizing the AVX vectors. At the same time, it provides you the best uh, serial performance you can get. So it's a good combination that allows you to opt into parallelism. It does not force that and you can write your traditional serial program and you can intermix between the two and you can interleave serial and parallel processing on the same processor. The Intel Xeon Phi is designed specifically for parallelism and provides many parallel resources. The trade of them is that the sequential performance is not as good as in Intel Xeon. It really works best when the whole application is designed for parallel processing, meaning that it has to scale to the greater uh, resources that are available with Intel Xeon Phi, as well as the wider vectors that are available in every core. The whole execution has to scale to those levels. And that puts us a bigger requirement on the programmer to actually ensure that the whole application scales. It puts a burden on us as uh, the providers of the Intel development tools, compiler and runtime, to give high quality implementation of these programming models such that if you write your parallel program, we actually translate it, we compile it into high uh, performance application for you. A core processor is attached to the main processor across a PCI bus um, and that allows the programmer to utilize both of them judiciously. Um, not every application lends itself to full parallelization to the extent available with the uh, wide resources available with the Intel Xeon Phi. Some of them only scale uh, modestly to the smaller widths available with the Intel Xeon processor with uh, fewer cores and uh, different vector units. Um, if not all the application lends itself to the wider parallelization, uh, the programmer can then architect the application and execute uh, the less scaling portion of it on Intel Xeon and uh, the portion that scales to a larger extent execute that on the core processor and then um, change between the different execution units judiciously depending on what suits better which portion of the application. Actually we based our strategy for our programming um, all of our hardware on existing languages. Uh, we're not so much betting on new languages. Of course, once a new language becomes a standard, as is the case with OpenCL, we support that as well. Um, but we think that uh, we can uh, give the programmer good experience by bringing the programming model into where they are, and many of our customers are in C and C++. And so by providing a modest extension to the C++ languages, um, they are mostly programming within the language they're familiar with, with a modest extension of uh, parallel loops, vector loops and alike, that allows them to be comfortable with the uh, languages they are familiar with. And in fact, we are taking this extension into the uh, right standard body. Some of it we're taking into OpenMP and uh, most of it we're taking to the C++ 
uh, language standard and I'm expecting to see some of our parallel extensions showing up in the next C++ standard. So we are really uh, putting most of our investment as uh, based on the C and C++ languages. I presented a case study uh, from the financial services industry, which is a Monte Carlo simulation. Um, for the uh, industry, this is a real useful program. We treat it more like a benchmark that helps us tune our solutions. Logistically, the advantage of this particular case is that it fits nicely within the framework of a presentation, and I could show a relatively small problem and use that to um, show a number of solutions that we are providing, as well as the impact of those solutions. Uh, so it fits nicely within the, pro the uh, framework of a presentation. It is also being featured in one of our hands-on lab where um, people who will attend those hands-on lab will actually learn more about uh, some of the concept around programming Intel Xeon fee and some of potential programming pitfalls as they move sequential code that would be slow on any of our uh, hardware target into a high performance parallel code. Um, I am focusing on showing how to parallelize um, the case study and get it to scale across an Intel Xeon target as well as an Intel Xeon fee target. And then I'm showing how to vectorize uh, this another portion of the same code to take advantage of the AVX register or the wider register available on the Intel Xeon fee. And within a small framework that is allowed by this presentation, I can not only show how to do it, I'm also showing distinctly the performance benefit that the programmer gets by parallelizing and utilizing all the cores, as well as by vectorizing and utilizing the vectors within the cores, and then put the whole thing together sorry, and show the compound benefit of doing both of them. And then I'm leaving some other uh, benefit for the hands-on lab. Our observation has been that uh, the early adopters of Intel Xeon Fee know quite a bit about parallel programming. Uh, most of them are real good experts in OpenMP and they're doing well in uh, parallel programming as far as utilizing the cores. Um, where we are struggling is to work with our customers on also utilizing the vectors. Uh, this requires vector programming, which is a distinct portion of parallel programming and a little less well understood and I was trying to focus most of my attention uh, to explain how vector programming is distinct from parallel programming and how crucially important it is, it is to take advantage of our, our target hardware.